Hi, and welcome to Aftershark, Wallapop.com's post show to ABC's Shark Tank. And we are here with the one and only Gala Bentley. Hey there, Gala. Hi, sweetheart. How are you? Jason. I'm doing great, Jason. I'm so happy to talk to you today. And I am happy for you because you got the deal. Yes. Isn't that exciting? Super exciting. Now, for people who didn't see the show, that. So happy. see, the phone's ringing off the hook because of what's happened. She brought her uh, fashion line in. She makes clothes, high-end designer luxury clothing for women size 12 or over, a neglected market. Tell us about it. Yes, I have specialized in designing modern chic clothes for women with curves because 65% of the American women now wear a size 12 or larger, and they have been overlooked and underserved, and I'm here to make a difference with that. How long have you been designing clothes? I've been designing clothes for the last 10 years, but 10 years before that, I was taking women to Paris to teach them about French style, and we ended up going to London and Russia and all these exotic locations, and there were never any clothes for women over a size 12. So consequently, we'd buy lots of accessories, and I'd come home and tell my husband, again, we're back from this European travel, and all my women have accessories and no clothes. And he said, well, I think it's time for you to learn the technical end, and why don't we do our own collection? And it's not cheap to make these kind of couture collections, which is why you needed money to sort of expand, because you want to take this national. Yes, I want to make it a global market. Global. I really want to also have a new line that's for the mass market. That's what I'm trying to do now is take um, this luxury look and bring it also to an affordable price. So as we go through this economic uh, challenge in our economy today, women of all shapes and sizes can have beautiful clothes to wear. Now, you had trouble getting money for this? It sounds like a great idea. and It's obviously a niche that's not being served. Why couldn't you get money? Well, you know, the banks just weren't in the mood to lend any money right now. Given Is that the a economic... nice way of saying you got turned down for a loan? No, they just weren't in the mood. I <laughs> try to use all my magical powers, but um, they just, you know, they think there's enough fashion designers out there right now, and it's not a need, but they don't realize as we were able to tell the sharks, is that 65% of the American women do need some modern, chic clothes. You had uh, you would explain that there was a need, that, that often women of a larger size are relegated to the back of the department store. Most of the sharks didn't buy it, except for Damon John. They don't have any clothes in their luxury retail space, over a size 12. Yes, I, I understand that. That's why this is such a great yeah. opportunity. But why don't they have them? Because it's not the luxury yes. look. When we are, is that true? Yeah. Yeah. That's why we're tired of being discriminated against. Yeah. I they find don't that think hard that, to believe. No, it's true. To the world, luxury is not plus sizes. This is not luxurious? Not to them, not to the world right now. We need someone to be a pioneer to break through. He's my hero, of course. He is, um, you know, a gentleman that created his own brand out of lifestyle. And that's exactly what I've done. Mine's a lifestyle. You know, we are looking to brand this and um, go from clothes and all types of things that the woman, the modern woman needs. And he understood that because he did that for his urban market. So how is it that you think your line can bring these clothing, uh, this clothing into the front of the department store? It's simply by being popular that will happen. Well, as soon as it starts selling off the shelf, yeah. it'll finally move from the back of the department store, hopefully to the front. I mean, look at the retail sales today. They're not as high as they used to be. Why? Because they're all copying each other. They're all, you know, buying the same designers, and they're just merchandising them a little differently, but they're all, as soon as you walk into the store, well, the woman that has a disposable income right now, that has the money to spend, does not want to look like a contemporary junior girl going to work. Yeah, like, and all the women in the fashion magazines are also stick thin, and that's just not the way we are. Right, no, but that, there's nothing wrong with that either. Like, that's the whole thing. We're all about everyone having style. Our tagline is not about size, it's about style. And so we just don't discriminate. We make sure that women of all shapes, sizes, and ages have beautiful style to choose from. Now, how do you differ from the other lines that are already out there that are pitched to women over size 12? Well, a lot of it is I am also a client. And, you know, I spent my first 10 years of my career at Saks Fifth Avenue as the Fifth Avenue Club director. And, you know, my main responsibility was to dress the who's who of Houston, Texas from head to toe. So for 10 years, you know, that's all I ever did was uh, um, dress people and teach them about style and manage a group of women. Then from there, I did the Paris trips. And from that, I went back and learned the technical end to become a designer. So you know so, a little bit about what the high end wants is kind of what you're saying. Yes. And yeah. I've had, um, 
you know, this experience since I went to a private school and wore a uniform, and then I had to go into real life as a teenager, and there were no clothes for chubby teenagers at the time. So I've been on this mission for 35 years. It's amazing have, it took so long. Yes. So well, uh, why did you wait, by the way, speaking of a long time, why did you wait so long into the pitch to tell them that you've had home shopping channels nibbling at you? I want them to understand more about the fact that we put so much money into the fit and the design of our collection and we had a really strong foundation and it wasn't just a woman that decided to be a designer and all of a sudden pitch a couple of designs on home shopping, that it is a whole lifestyle brand and it's something that I dedicated myself to for over 30 years and there was a lot more you know, meat behind it than just something that was a fun and frivolous thing to do. All right, now, Gayla, uh, forgive me for asking this, but I, I saw the whole pitch, and I noticed that you never used one certain word, word and that was the word fat. And I want to ask you, is that a bad word these days? Well, it's not a bad word when I tell the sharks they're going to have a fat bank account after they invest in me. And that's the way I would use it. Yeah. It's, again, not about size or weight. It's about style. And you can see women that are very thin that don't know how to dress and have no style just as much as you can see a woman that has too many curves and doesn't know how to dress. And we're here to help women learn and to enjoy a European style high fashion at an affordable price. Well, I have to say it was very savvy of you to pitch this more in terms of an unfilled market than in a type of person. And oh, congratulations yeah. on that. That's probably what got you your deal in the end. Well, Jason... This is one thing I know for sure. I probably know more about this field than most women in our country because I've been studying it, living it, and teaching about it for over 30 years. And I think it's time now. I'm going to be a pioneer. There was Liz Claiborne. There was Lena Bryant. And now there's going to be Gayla Bentley. Everybody, you heard it here first. Gayla Bentley is going to be at shopping malls everywhere. You have not seen the last of her. Thanks for joining us, Gayla. Hey, for more of these uh, interviews with the entrepreneurs on Shark Tank, including the wonderful Gayla Bentley, Please come right back here to WalletPop.com. Love you, Wallet Pop. <laughs>